Music is not a crime. Music is a human right. All around the world, the music industry is still incredibly unequal. Also, in some countries, women are banned from singing publicly. In other places, women are not allowed to access or participate in concerts. And in several parts of the world, women are being targeted, harassed, and threatened, and some even imprisoned or killed for choosing to use their voice through music. I stand in solidarity with women artists all around the world. We must protect the rights of women artists and fight back against this discrimination against them. Women's voices must not be silenced. We're just raising awareness on what we deserve. Music is not the same. It's 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 not the same. For me, music, uh, you can express your feeling, your beliefs, and your rights, and the message that you want to give to the people. So through music, you can freely express everything that you want to give the message to the world. Most of our parents, they don't want their children to be uh, musicians. Once their children uh, jump into that music in industry, they thought that they will become a drug addict or alcoholic. So, especially as a woman, yeah. So I have to fight for what I believe and stand for. After the revolution, they banned female voice, and um, I think it's, it's a very inhuman way, um, uh, inhuman attitude. Um, that, uh, for example, to say to a woman that don't sing, because it is like that, uh, it, it seems that uh, they say to a woman, don't um, laugh, don't cry, don't breathe. of my colleagues, they really desire to have concert in, the, in their own soil, in their own country, for their own people. And also people, they are very thirsty. Really, they are sometimes they are more, uh, more uh, annoyed than us also. They say, why, why? Uh, but it is difficult, it, but they know the situation. And uh, nobody can understand also the logic behind it. We are the artists in Palestine affected by the situation as a human being, as a normal human being who wants to run a normal life, who wants to have a safe uh, freedom to circulate, to run a normal life, to have um, to go to school, to have a child, to work, to think, to create, to whatever. Uh, this is uh, very hard to do today at this century, at this time uh, we are living in. And so, uh, of course, my music will not as well circulate if I don't feel 
confident. If I don't feel safe, uh, maybe my music will manage to cross borders, and this is the charm and the secret. Yet, at the same time, practically speaking, uh, a direct contact is and a natural one is not done uh, as we would have wished. Um, like I had a situation when I performed at the book cafe when riot police walked in, you know, and it, it, all of these things now um, start to come into your work as an artist, you know, and it it puts you in a, a situation where now you have to really start thinking about what you're saying and what you're doing, so dicey. <laughs> Vana vano guara muzimu zuka kwa zweka wakuruwe. Vana vano guara muzimu zuka kwa zweka ne handa muzimu zuka kwa zweka minuka muzimu zuka kwa zweka guwe muzimu zuka kwa zweka ngamire. We have a responsibility. We're not bankers, we're not doctors, we're not nurses, we're not... We have another part that we play in society that must be done. So regardless of whether the system is going to come in and say, cut what you're saying, we're going to send riot cops into your shows, we're going to come and arrest you and we're going to try and put you... It doesn't matter. We have, we have a responsibility. York was totally banned because my parents, they choose, chose to take what the missionaries and priests learned them and they chose to believe in this, that the yoik was from the devil. One thing was the language, then the other thing was the old religion, and the yoik was a part of, of the old shamanistic religion, and uh, I um, later learned. But in my home, the yoik was totally banned, because my parents, they choose, chose to take what the missionaries and priests learned them, and they chose to believe in this, that the yoik was from the devil. So they didn't, they learned their children that don't listen to the yoik. So this I grew up with. So when I was 20, I was like my parents. Whenever there was yoik on the radio, I switched it off because this was terrible. This is from the devil. So when I started to realize and wake up from all this, there, was, there were just so many angry songs that had to get out.
في ظلمات الليل اللبهيم وفي شوارع العيون أرانا حلم الليل مي سوني اس كي سا كانتيون سا بوديارا او ارسي اللا سونا سوكوبادا سبوستو كي سي اهيتشو دسبوست دي لا de la tercera intifada del último del año 2007 y me gustaría que mi gente la pudiese escuchar para que tuvieran un apoyo, un, una voz que les anime, eh, pero no creo que fuese real puesto que eh, ahí toda mi música jamás la han podido escuchar a no sea de una manera extranjera, eh, imposible. Pues pasaría, por ejemplo, que esa persona por haber escuchado un, una música eh, que solo lo que pretende hacer es transmitir una libertad de expresión, una libertad en todos los ámbitos, podría ir, podría ir perfectamente a la cárcel o, o, estar de, o desaparece de y por sí. Torturas. Eh, y sufrir torturas. Eh. del arte ahí no se puede trabajar en los, en los territorios ocupados, ningún saharaui se atreve a pintar una bandera ni se atreve a pintar si, simplemente un cuadro de lo que es la artesanía saharaui ni nada por el estilo. Eh, sería <ríe> muy difícil eh, poder, sería una provocación hasta hacia el régimen marroquí. Eh, provocación porque ellos la entienden como provocación, simplemente un saharaui la, la entiende como una manera de expresarse. It's nothing short of death for an artist. I mean, to, to, to be censored to the extent that, that we were in South Africa. I think freedom of expression is important to everybody. The reason that uh, the music didn't have an effect on the war in Iraq was not that we stopped making the music, it was that they stopped playing it. <laughs> Music is a, is, a, is a strongest weapon ever in the world because it's, it's a peaceful weapon. You have to censor yourself for a certain subject. For example, religion. In Senegal, it's difficult for me to talk about religion. Für die Politiker sind die Musiker äh, nur äh, solche Leute, die nur Musik machen können. Aber äh, die Musiker und die Intellektuellen müssen wirklich die Wahrheit sagen, was alles in, in dieser Stadt, in diesem Land passiert oder passieren kann. Und ich bin eine davon und ich sage die Wahrheit. Freedom of expression is important, because uh, we are human. And uh, freedom of uh, expression is like, uh, this is the simplest right of your uh, human uh, human's rights. 
to talk what to say what inside your heart to say if this is wrong this is right coming across free muse was very special for me because i met them at a very very dark time and and to finally find someone who was able to say we do hear you and we do understand was life changing in some ways it was it was it was what i needed to hear the most <laughs> 